And we're on to the next fight. We've been watching this whole card from start to finish. We got one Friday fights, number 34, Rod Tang versus Superlek. We got another Muay Thai fight. I think we're on to the fifth fight of the card. So if you want to watch the other ones with me, then go check out that playlist. But anyways, we got Sua Kim versus Salmon As Ashori. Uh, I'm not good at reading names, but I like talking about fights, so let's do it together. Uh, 28 versus 22 years old, 140 pounds. These are bigger guys, right? A little fun, uh, oh, heavier weight class than we're used to in a lot of these Muay Thai, which is uh, funny to say for 139 pounds. But, hey, we're here. We like skipping ahead. We got good Muay Thai on the horizon. Right to the ring. Let's do it. So far, so good. Every fight on this card has been so much fun. So far, two MMA, two Muay Thai. We're on to another Muay Thai. The Persian Lion. 19 and 5. Pretty unexperienced by Thai standards. Very unexperienced, actually. Uh, for Iranians, Middle East, you know, Westerners in general. Middle Easterners, Middle Easterners. All right, this is kind of a, a classic record for a guy his age. But looks like he's fighting someone from the Yakuza. Out of uh, Sanchai Muay Thai gym. Nice. 148 and 59. Wow, the experience is just unbelievably in his favor. Older guy, ton of experience, out of one of the most reputable Muay Thai gyms. We see a lot of the guys out of PK Sanchai Muay Thai gym. Uh, just dominate. Dominate these fights. But it's always interesting to see someone with a bit of a unique background. You know, out of Iran, he looks strong. He looks in shape. He's young. He's going to be fast. He's probably going to hit really hard. But I doubt that's going to make up for the experience of his opponent, Sua Kim, here. Classic Muay Thai stance out of both guys. Quick jab, a little bit of flair to his lead hand. Doesn't give me a ton of confidence. You know, I don't like any extra. Oh, a beautiful catch. Drives him into the mat. All right. Su Kim's going to do a lot of testing this first round. Right, usually we don't see Ty's super aggressive in the first round. A little bit more defensive. Not necessarily countering like crazy, but having a pretty uh, reserved offense. I think that's the way I would phrase it. All right. Some hugging. Ty clinch. Not really that devastating of techniques can be done at that range. Now you can see his eyes really reading every movement out of a shorty. All right, good feint. Got an excellent reaction. Shorty seems a little wild to me. All right, he's not that composed in terms of his boxing. He's a little bit swingy. He's very good at catching kicks, though. All right, so that's making it hard for Su Kim to get his kicking game off. But I don't think he's worrying about that too much right now. He's thinking about what he's going to be doing in the second round. Yep. Yeah. Nice little, uh, I call that the pitcher's cross, where you set it up at the inside low kick and fall into your power cross. Yeah. Good amount of pressure, but he's closing the distance almost too quickly and getting tied up. Right? He's not landing any of these strikes because he's a little bit too aggressive on uh, closing in. All right, you get stuck chest to chest with them, and then you can't throw anything. All right, everything can't be a jump at your opponent. I feel like he's really going to pay in this second round. Maybe a bit of an assumption. There we go. Hurt him. He's done. You're just looking at him blankly. Oh, my God. If he was, the way he sprung up after that. There we go. What did he just put him in his, put in his mouth? Did he just take his mouth guard? 
So I'm taking them out. He's pulling something out of his pocket. What the hell is happening there? Can somebody leave a comment if you understand what's happening here? What did he take out of his pocket and then stuff into his mouth? All right. He his a. Uh, it looks like his uh, one coach has his mouth in there. He sneaks that mouth guard out, and then his coach sticks another mouth guard in. Why would you do that after the fight is done? Or no, he didn't put anything into his mouth. I don't know what that was. Wow. Good finish. I want to see that in slow motion. What he actually hit him with. There. Oh, it was an elbow. If you guys caught that, I'd be amazed. That was hard to see. Yeah, that landed perfectly. Right through the jaw. And then one more sort of short left hook afterwards. Sent him spinning. Bang, elbow to the jaw. Follows up. Boom, beautiful left hook. Looks like he goes for one more, just chips him on the way down. But wow, rocked his world. His elbow. Bang. Yeah, he was very composed the entire time. And like I was saying, uh, the way. Oh my god. He was just fighting somebody who was doing this energy for everything that he was throwing. Right, he was jumping into these techniques. He was rushing forward. Right, he was fighting like he was 22 years old. Right, we're just rushing forward and being super aggressive and doing that. You just get rocked. And what do you do? You drop your hands to scream at him. Guess what? Boom, you get smashed for it. And now you're actually KO'd. My God, this is fucking so dumb. Boom, elbow. Blech. Yeah, okay, you're knocked out god and, and you know what like i don't want to say that i was thinking that he was kind of already doing this stuff at the start but he was like doing all this flary stuff right he was showing off that type of energy that you you see out of guys who end up opening themselves up in stupid ways like this i think we saw a persian guy two weeks ago who ended up fighting and winning he dropped his hands and got smashed like 15 times in the face while screaming at his opponent like i don't know that is not exciting to me to see it just looks foolish and his opponent just like all of his experience showed there he was so calm su kim was so collected and everything that was happening yeah he got hit a couple times all right a little bit of clinch work there not much happened in there but yeah that fucking elbow to the jaw and look at it, he drops his hands to scream at him after getting hit is foolish and got KO'd for it. Yeah. That was a legit finish. I understand you're on the biggest stage in the world for Muay Thai. And you really want to make a name for yourself. You want to stand out. But. Man. I don't know. I watch that type of stuff and now I'm just shaking my head. Good KO. Very good finish. Yeah, I'd be disappointed like that too. Yeah, Suakim's very put together, right? He was thoughtful the entire time. And like, I, I really, it was just like the moral of the entire fight. How calm he was. He was watching his opponent the entire time. He was clearly making reads. You could just see it in his face that he was thinking about, okay, he's going to keep doing this. Great. I'm going to do this when XYZ happens. And, you know, we commented on... Uh, his opponent closing the distance so aggressively and of course that happens and he runs right into an elbow and gets KO'd which is probably the perfect response that a very composed athlete should give when they're getting pressured like that right elbows and knees down the middle let their opponent do all the work for them run right into it bam you're KO'd thanks for coming out so great finish by Su Kim really impressed um, disappointed when a young athlete like that either doesn't get great coaching or uh just can't keep their composure and, and needs to become a little bit more mature for fight sport uh yeah anyways great fight we're going on to the next one thanks for watching